So recently there was a sanctions act that was signed by President Donald Trump after having overwhelming support in both the Senate and the House of Representatives. I think the Senate was 98 to 2 and the House was I think like 415 in favor. So that's a veto-proof majority. So if Donald Trump were to veto it, it wouldn't have an effect. Clearly he believed in the bill, which is why he signed it, which is why he told the press. While I favor tough measures to punish and deter aggressive and destabilizing behavior by Iran, North Korea, and Russia, this legislation is significantly flawed. In its haste to pass the legislation, the Congress includes a number of clearly unconstitutional o provisions. Wait, what? So, Donald J. Trump, the President of the United States, thinks that this sanction bill, which, okay, if in case you're wondering, the sanction bill would put sanctions around Iran, North Korea, and Russia, and we do that all the time. It's been established it's constitutional, unless there's something else that he's not telling us, but if you're expecting Donald Trump to explain yourself, then what precedent do you think you're under? But there was a veto-proof majority, so even if he, so he could have just vetoed it and said, I don't believe it, and it would still got passed. I could have been like, I, I, I believe it, but I'm vetoing it. And it would have still got passed. Because of the big majority. And he signs it, meaning he agrees with it, and says it's unconstitutional. That doesn't make any sense. You're supposed to uphold the Constitution. You're not supposed to say, oh, why? This bill is clearly unconstitutional, so I'm going to sign it. I'm going to sign it. Donald Trump. I don't know. I don't. I'm F. Ramen. Good night.